Hey guys, what's up? Mike Lock here. Thanks for tuning in to this video blog. In this video, I want to touch on a couple of things. One, website pricing and website contracts. I get this question a lot on a weekly basis, so I'm shooting this video so that I can actually point people to this video. Um, I did touch on pricing a while back in an older video, but I just want to kind of give you a refresher on what I think when it comes to pricing out your website projects and things like that when it comes to running your freelance business. Now, when it comes to pricing, there's three things that um, I keep in mind. One is you wanna have an hourly rate, and this is for smaller jobs, for jobs that you know takes about one to two, three hours, or whatever it is. And uh, this is for maintenance work as well. Let's say you have a client, someone wants to, um, wants to have you go into their website, fix a few things, and it's going to take you know three hours. That's where the hourly rate comes in, okay? It can be $20 an hour, $30 an hour, 40, 50, et cetera. My hourly rate is $75 an hour, and I've had that for a while. And what you do is just fill that out. If that hourly rate after you've completed that job seemed to pretty low for you, just raise that from, you know, and then adjust that from project to project. The second thing is give yourself a base price. Okay, and you're going to come up with the base price, and this is for a complete website. Um, it can be $500 if you're just starting out, um, $1,000, $1,500, etc. My base price when I when I do a project is around $2,500. Okay, and that's for a simple five five page or so website. Okay, anything too anything much larger than that, I might jump up to around $3,000 or $3,500, etc. Okay. So you give yourself a base price and then you go from there and don't worry too much about how many pages um, goes into that website. Just give yourself the base price and it's unlimited pages. It's $500 for a complete website. And what I've learned over the years is that no one really has, is gonna come to you with 20 pages of content, okay? If they do, that's very rare and um, that's not going to happen a lot. Most of the time, clients, customers, brick and mortar businesses don't even have enough content to fill three to five pages, okay? So that's why you want to just give your, have a base price for a project, for a website, and then go from there. And then you might get up to 10 pages at the most, and that's it. So when I've you know, done websites for clients, I always say unlimited pages. And um, they always have less than 10 pages you know, for the website. And the third thing that you want to keep in mind is that you want to keep, keep in mind that everything is negotiable. So regardless of your hourly rate, regardless of your set price for a complete website, everything is negotiable. So let's say you throw out a number, an hourly rate on a project for at $50 an hour, and that client comes back to you and say, can we do it for $40 an hour, okay? You should be able to negotiate that. And uh, you know that might not be that might be okay for you to you know, take on that $40 an hour. Same with the base price. You throw out a base price of $2,000 or $500 and the client comes back to you and say, I only have $250 for a website. You know, if you're starting out, that should be okay. You know, and take that and then go from there. If you think you got gypped, then now you know you can't really negotiate that low. Okay, so sometimes I'll throw out a website or a price um, for a website at $2,500 an hour or $2,500 for the complete site, they come back to me and say, can we do it for $2,000? And I'll say, sure, okay, and I'll go from there. And a lot of times when you give, when you negotiate down from your base price, the client then knows not to take advantage of you and they're not going to ask you for the world when it comes to completing that site. They know that they've, they, you've given them a deal and so they're not going to you know, run, you know, run you around the world and ask you for everything okay so that's what um, that's my take on when it comes on to web design pricing the second thing is when it comes to website contracts I get this question a lot and my philosophy when it comes to website contracts is you want to keep things simple whenever I do a website contract I always keep it on one page I have a paragraph and I'll have a list of bullet points and I have two places where I sign and the customer signs. So what happens is I'll I'll write up the I'll write the prod or the contract. I'll sign it, email it to in a PDF to the client. He'll sign it and then email me the PDF back. And then once I get a copy back with both his and my or her name on it, 
I know that it's an official contract. And my contracts are pretty simple. Whenever I do a contract, it's really simple. It's, you know, something like I, Michael Locke, the designer, and client XYZ company has agreed on a website for the price of $2,500, okay? The client will pay Michael or me, the designer, $2,500 once these deliverables are completed. And then I'll list out the deliverables, okay, of the things that we're going to complete on the website. Any special features, things like that. And then you sign that, give that to the client. And what happens is the client, they might want to add to that. And if, and if they want to add to it, that's fine. Let them add to it. If they want to add another page, some more, you know, legal um, verbiage, that's totally fine. I actually had a client do that and um, that was totally okay with me. But it's cool to just keep things simple because sometimes I don't even write project or write contracts out for clients when I know I have a sort of a good relationship with them and I get a feel for some of the things that um, I get a feel for how they're going to pay me. Let's say they write a check, you know, and they're really upfront and they give me a check to start the project. I won't even write the pro write a contract out when it comes to to clients like that because I know they're up in front, they're really serious, and, and they they're really eager to get the site going. And um, if you get burned, if you do not have a contract and you get burned one time, that's fine. That's the nature of the business. Then you know, uh, you know, you know to do a contract for each and every project going forward. And um, so that's pretty much it. Pricing, contracts, pricing. Remember, hourly rate, give yourself a base price and do not worry about the number of pages for that website. And then keep in mind that everything is negotiable. You always want to negotiate um, every project that you do because everyone's budget is different. So you always want to be willing to negotiate um, your pricing. And for contracts, keep it simple. You know, feel the customer out. If it's someone you know, you don't need a contract. But if it's someone that you're not really sure, Give yourself a simple one-page contract and um, go from there. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, always visit my website, shoot me an email, and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. We'll talk soon. Bye.